I'm Joe Teeter. I'm a retired science teacher from Central North Carolina. I now do a little bit of gunsmithing on the side. I run a small gunsmithing company called Teeter's Gunsmithing. And we're out here at the range today. We're going to test a new type of ammunition produced for muzzle loaders that use a 209 shotgun primer. Many years ago, I wrote a letter to Remington asking them if it would be possible to use smokeless powder in a muzzle loader. And I did get back a letter from Remington and they outlined all the problems that you would have if you're going to try to use smokeless powder in a muzzle loader. Well, a number of years after that, Savage solved all those problems and they came out with the Savage 10 ML, which did use smokeless powder in their muzzle loader. And that rifle was very successful for many years. There are thousands of those rifles produced. Many people safely used them to kill deer, and there are a lot of those rifles still in use all over the United States today. However, it only takes one person to make an error that actually causes problems for the company. If you load too much powder, or if you load your powder and then you load a bullet and you forget and you load another bullet on top of that, yes, smokeless powder can blow up the barrel. But in my opinion, that was the fault of the, the user instead of the rifle. So it's sad that those problems came up with the Savage muzzle loader using smokeless powder. This past year, Traditions came up with a new type of muzzle loader, which they call the Nitro Fire, that uses something called a fire stick. It looks a lot like a 410 shotgun shell that holds a propellant. And you load it in from the breech end, just like in a single barrel shotgun, but you still load the bullet in from the muzzle end, and there's a little uh, shelf in there that keeps it from going on down. One of the problems with black powder and all the black powder substitutes is they do contain oxidizers which are corrosive. So if you don't clean all of that residue out of your rifle, even if it's a stainless rifle, you're going to have some corrosion. So the past few weeks I've been working on an idea for muzzle loaders which uses only smokeless powder, no corrosive oxidizers. And I have come up with a cartridge that solves the problem because it has a pre-measured amount of smokeless powder, which will be safe for any standard muzzle loader. And after this cartridge fires, it self-ejects from the muzzle right after the bullet exits. So I call it the self-ejecting 209 safety cartridge. And we're going to load this rifle up today with this new type of muzzleloader ammunition. And I'm going to demonstrate for you how it works. The first thing you need to do before you fire any muzzleloader is you need to check it to see if it is already loaded. So we're going to do that first. Is the rifle loaded? There's a couple ways to do that. <clears throat> If it's a 209 rifle like this one, you can get a little light and shine it down here where your primer goes. This one's got a little magnet on it. So it's safe, so I got the bolt open. I can look and see if I can see any light. Okay, I see a little dot down there, so light is going through there, so I know that it is unloaded. The most common way that many people do it is they take their ramrod, they put their ramrod in there. Once they make sure it's 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 safe, and we can put a little mark on there with a pencil or a pen. Say, okay, right there is my place. Put an E right there, so I know it's empty. So we've established this rifle is empty. It's not loaded. And now we can load it safely. This is our self-ejecting 209 safety cartridge. 
It contains a pre-measured amount of smokeless powder, and after this thing fires, it's going to eject itself from the muzzle so we can load it again. This thing is made about .495 in diameter, so it just basically goes right down the muzzle with no problem. We stick it right in there, it goes right in. Now we're going to load our projectile. If you're going to burn smokeless powder in a muzzle loader, you must have a tight fitting Sabo. A power belt bullet is not going to work in this application because it's just not tight enough. So today I'm using the orange uh, Sabo from MMP and this is made for a 458 diameter bullet. And here we're going to use the Hornady 325 grain 458 diameter bullet. This is the FTX bullet. So we're going to put this in our Sabo. Get it started here. I'm going to use a bullet starter to get this thing started. It should be a good tight fit. Now we're going to use our ramrod, push it on down. Okay, so we see it didn't go down to where the mark was, so we know there's something in there. So we've got our 209 safety cartridge in here loaded only with non-corrosive smokeless powder and we've also got our 325 grain bullet and a nice tight fitting safe oak. Put on my earmuffs. Got on my safety glasses. Okay, breech is open here. So I'm pointing the gun down range. I'm going to load a 209 shotgun primer. And it is somewhat ironic that Remington many years ago told me it would be very difficult to shoot smokeless powder in a muzzle loader. And here we have a Remington 700 ML that I have converted to use 209 shotgun primers. So we're actually going to shoot smokeless powder in a Remington rifle today. A muzzle load. Here we go. Okay, so we got our shotgun primer in there. Good tight fit. Put it on fire. Let's see if we can fire smokeless powder in a muzzle loader safely. And it has the right amount of smokeless powder and the right kind of smokeless powder. So we're going to produce less than 25,000 PSI, which this barrel will easily handle. Uh, I sent a message to Traditions a few weeks ago, and they sent me back an answer saying that their barrels on their standard inline muzzle loaders are rated at 25,000 PSI. So that's kind of the standard we're going for here. A pressure less than 25,000 PSI for the average uh, inline muzzle loader. This one's not inline, but it should work with anything that uses a 209 shotgun primer. Okay, we're on fire. Here we go. always a good sign. Now let's see if that cartridge actually came out. Maybe it's still down in there. Let's check. We'll take our ramrod, put it down in the bore, and sure enough it goes to the line that says it's empty. There's nothing in the bore. The self-ejecting 209 safety cartridge held the powder, but after it fired, it ejected itself from the bore. We have very little fouling. There will be some carbon in here, but there's no 
propellant that is corrosive. The only thing in there was pure smokeless powder. So now we're ready to load up and fire again. So that's the great thing about the 209 safety cartridge. It self ejects itself from the bore. It'll work in any standard muzzle loader that uses 209 primers. Pure smokeless powder, nothing else, no corrosion whatsoever, but it's a safe load for a standard muzzle loader.